Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. You know what that is? Well, according to the dealers and some uh, and I guess some more dealers, they're claiming that this is a radiator cooler for Toyota Tundra. Well, this is not a radiator cooler. What this is, this is a cooler for the power steering, power steering cooler. Toyota was smart enough to remove external external transmission cooler on their Toyota Tundras from 2019 to 2021. So 19, 20, and 21, they don't have an external transmission cooler. They still have a transmission cooler. Many people say Toyota removed the uh, transmission cooler. No, see, there is no nothing here. It's just a condenser and there is no lines. If you remove the grill or if you look through, there is nothing. There is no transmission cooler. External, I'm gonna rephrase it. There is no external transmission cooler. And this is a 5.7, you can see Toyota. Yes, 5.7, I don't wash my engines. And the reason why, because, you see the clamps are rusting, that's the problem. And if you trace it back, you can see, see the lines, they go underneath, that's for your transmission cooler. And comes out right there so that's your i'm sorry not transmission that's your power steering cooler let me show you again goes there comes out underneath and that's right there your power steering cooler it's not a transmission cooler it's not an external it's gone they are removed let me show you underneath the vehicle where it has a cooler it has an actual transmission cooler it's not a the one that is here it's it's a uh, air or liquid to air cooler every Toyota every aromatic transmission let me let me put it this way every vehicle including Toyota with aromatic transmission has a transmission cooler liquid to liquid no matter what year starting maybe 70s or 60s I don't remember but at least from 80s uh, when Toyota became more popular with their automatic transmissions they had transmission coolers because without transmission cooler your transmission will fail in the first couple hundred miles yes the most common transmission cooler is the one that built in into the radiator there's a line comes in on one side comes out on the other side that's the most common 99 percent of vehicle on the road has them some have transmission coolers liquid to liquid instead of built into the radiator they have them next to the transmission and let me show you that let me show you from underneath see it right there not a nice picture but that right there is your transmission cooler it's next to the transmission i want you to notice there is no thermostat. The lines coming in. Let's see if I can get you a better view. There is no thermostat. Just a cooler. Coolant lines. This cooler or the in the radiator works to cool the transmission fluid and to warm up transmission fluid. When people say Toyota eliminated completely, that's a false information. People that say that they have no clue what they are talking about. Now let me show you what's an actual transmission cooler, external transmission liquid to air looks like. Here you go. See, this is an, an external transmission cooler. Toyota have them has them on all the way up to 2013. Up to 2013 on 46 and 57, and then 2014 and up. On 4 6, they had to remove them and they removed some other things, sadly. So, this is what external transmission cooler looks like on 5 7s, Toyota Tundras. This is 4 6 because it's 2012 and it has it. And if you look up close here, you see the difference? The thickness of uh, because condenser and transmission cooler they kind of built into it. The top portion you have as a cooler for transmission and condenser for the bar. Look at the thickness on the lines or the veins. The fluid flows through. There is a difference. 
so that's what it looks like it still has our steering cooler see the lines that's what you should have it as you can see there's a lot more there now let me show you underneath what it looks like so from underneath when you look at it you have a liquid to liquid cooler with a thermostat next to it oh see that's how it should be that's what Toyota should have done it on 2019 2020 and 21 instead of cutting the corners they should have kept the thermostat and put it external liquid to air cooler but instead they removed thermostat they removed the cooler they should uh, retrofit because it's available and if you're interested in learning how to install either factory or aftermarket cooler in your Toyota Tundra or Sequoia or any other Toyotas, drop me a comment, subscribe, and I will show you. Because I'm going to install on mine that doesn't have a cooler, that doesn't have a thermostat. So I want to thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to share this with your others. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications when my next video comes out. So you can learn more about your Toyota Tundra transmission cooling options and how things should be done. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.